Welcome back, Bohemians. My name is Dr. Reva. This is some more Europe in Rosales 4 playing the succession campaign I have with Briarstone. And, um, yeah, just got back, so that means that we died recently, or at least our leader died, and that new things are about to happen. I see that we actually grew uh, this time under Briarstone's rule, which is pretty nice. Um, we did not have Krakow or Poznan before, I know that for a fact. I'm not sure we had Brunswick either. I think we integrated Hess by now. Um, yeah, that seems to be the case, what's happened over here. Um, I do seem to have minus 81 prestige. Which, I don't know how or why. But that doesn't look great. Also, our armies are now at full strength, and we still have inflation because we still have a gold mine. War reparations to Unhalt. Apparently, we're paying Unhalt some money. Let's actually look at the history of what happened these past 25 years. So, that was us before. Rare Stone II, the short Bohemian conquest of Braunschweig ended after two years, resulting in conquest. Um. Took part in the long Bohemian conquest of Krakow, and our armies were victorious. The most decisive battle of the war was when 62,000 men, led by Teutonic Karl Joseph von Heuningen, suffered some losses attacking the 33,000 men strong Lithuanian army, led by Zygmunt Kazimierz Zebski, who suffered some losses. Um, wisely built textile manufactory in Prague. On the 18th of December, 43, the infidels of Memmingen embraced the one true faith. 46. Ingolstadt embraced the one through faith. On the 29th of March, Brunswick embraced the one through faith. Infidels of Würzburg embraced the one through faith. Kassel embraced the one through faith. Um, Poznan embraced the one through faith. Uh, Krakow embraced the rain. The provinces of Brunswick, Leipzig, Poznan, and Krakow. Oh, Leipzig as well. Brunswick, Leipzig, Poznan, and Krakow. Okay. So let's look at the coalition map mode. Austria is minus 44, not great. Poland minus 41, could be worse. But most of these are actually not that bad. Uh, it's going up by 1.5 every year. Oh boy. Um, they still don't have us as rivals. We only have 16 in improved relations though. Yeah, the unlawful territory, that will take a while to go away. I'm going to improve relations with Austria just for the sake of it. So corruption to stability. That's actually pretty good um, considering we just died. So we were at plus three most likely. Any important provinces that could use a marketplace? Not really. Uh, barracks is fine. How is our manpower? 56,000 maximum manpower, and we have 55 force limit. That is actually pretty nice. Um, I'm going to put this army in Prague for now. 1766 and an 1850. Uh, maybe a few too many cavalry for my taste. Oh, Palatinate of the Gaul to claim Pilsen as their own. Ah, of course, royal marriages. I'm very happy to take those. We are allied with England, Muscovy, and Brandenburg, and the Teutonic Order. So, that's actually a really strong group. Still no League Wars yet, which is good. That might happen in our time, though. Oh, that's why they were in Leipzig, because they are in revolt. Are we converting them? No, because they have zeal until August of 75. In that case, I'll send the army back. Didn't realize we were doing that. We actually have loans, which well, I think we were in a war and lost it. That's why our prestige is abysmal. Anhalt is allied to Brandenburg and the Palatinate. Palatinate, are you still allied with Austria? Yes, you are. Okay, Magdeburg, are you allied with Poland? Oh, only with Poland, that's good. Poland still has its union over Lithuania. But um, we also have Muscovy on our side and the Teutonic Order, so I think Poland... Oh, coffee boom. So I think Poland should be fine. Um, 
a small disclaimer though um, before we continue any on because I completely forgot the day I'm recording this is quite ahead of time I'm actually I actually have no idea what day it is right now okay it's Tuesday the 27th of September right now as you see this it is two weeks later so actually rights of man will have released or will release really soon one of the two and we're not sure yet if the expansion is backwards compatible but i'm assuming it is not actually because there are a lot of changes going into the game but we're S briar and i'm probably most likely going to continue this campaign uh which means it will be played on the old patch on 1.17 until it is actually well unless it's actually is backwards compatible then we of course will play on the new one but I'm not holding out hope for that one. Um, Frankfurt is allied with Salzburg and Trier. Trier is allied with Frankfurt, Cologne and Nuremberg. Salzburg is only allied with Frankfurt. That actually makes them a really good target, even though that would get me really pissed off Austria next to me. Like a seriously pissed off Austria. They're at minus 44. Um, advisors, we're dealing with better relations over time. Exactly what we need right now, though. We don't have an heir, we are 30 years old. I would actually get Moscovy's dynasty if we were to die now. Interesting. Mm, I would like to start repaying my loans. But I need to have more money to do that just yet. I mean, our interest is 1.6 every month, so it's not nothing. Fort maintenance is decently high. Internal conflicts. Instability of the past year now seems to be over. And we have a new heir. So this will again be a Briarstone. A 351 is actually not bad. Hmm. Well, we are a 133, which is not great either. But at least our kid, Briar, is going to be a better suited... It's only going to go down by 1.6. What happened here? That it's that different. There's only a minus 5 for border friction though, which is surprising. Let's start on the spy network in Austria. I want to see if I can do anything about them. Denmark stopped improving relations. That is fine. I don't know why we were improving with Denmark, but okay. Pragmatic sanctions still hasn't been necessary at all. There are barely any princes left, only 26. Wow. Yeah, 16 heretic princes in the empire. So out of the 26, 16 of them are Protestant. It's actually really good. I will improve relations with the Ottomans, because if we get good relations with them, then there's a very good chance they might join our side of the League War. And I think that will be the... Ooh, iron is cheaper, which means more income. I will repay my first loan. When is the next one due? August... No, April 67. Hmm. Truce Anhalt. Almost over, though. Uh, border tensions. Bohemia gains a free claim on Poland. The end of religious turmoil in the Palatinate, which means they've actually gone reformed. Oh my. Hmm. Frankfurt might at some time, some point become Protestant. I think Verden will become Protestant. Yeah, actually, it's not the strongest reformation, but it's reasonably strong, actually. I mean, there's a lot of land in Austria. But yeah. Austria is really big and going to be really hard to break up. Which is our plan in the long run, to break up Austria. How are we going to do that? Mm, actually, I completely forgot. I was going to do this, but then something... Yeah, automatically raise them, but I want to mothball them. I also want to destroy the one in Kassel. I'm going to destroy the castle in Kassel. I think we have three in a row, that's a little bit overkill. Uh, maybe one in Memmingen would actually be worth... Uh, it's just farmlands, though. Lots of farm and grasslands down here in Bavaria. 
Um, hmm. Ravia Krakow, yes, I will keep it there. Roll on Ukraine to roll or Westfalen. I will take on an engineer, but I will wait for this. Oh, we've been slandered by Venice. I'll wait for this until we have one extra month of... Oh, okay, Austria's leader died again. Once you have one extra month of money. Now, I am very far ahead of time. Um, September, so October, November, December. So we get four months of increased power. I can wait once more with going for tech. Because I'm, I have a lot of military power saved up. And I'm going to use that on... It's actually a lot of infantry fire, though. They are on 12. Holy crap, we are very good doing really well on military power. I feel like swapping over to military now. That's actually available at this moment. Well then, let's do that. Because I want the tech as soon as it's available, but I also want to get our next idea group, which I'm going to focus on right now. So we're going to take administrative ahead of time. Okay, thank you for letting me know Armenia has no air right now. For whatever reason that might be. But yeah, I'm waiting until it's next year so we get another 10% discount on the tech. Ooh, it allows us plantations, but it's the idea group and it's going to be quality. Now, I have the chance to actually be in charge of what we get. It'll be quality. So, there we go. 16 years of production efficiency and yearly corruption. Oh, hang on. This Has this updated? Now it definitely has. 636. Idea group. So we have quantity, influence, and innovative. If we get quality, the most important thing that allows us to get is, of course, modern firearms techniques. Infantry combat ability plus 20% once this is finished. So yes, I will take quality. Yes, we'll get 10%. Oh yeah, we also have a little bit of discount on ideas as well. And yearly army tradition is now also plus one. Just straight into it. And of course our yearly corruption and stuff, it's going to be useful as well. Uh, now I just need to wait for money to repay my loan, really. It's also very, very important. I can make states, but those are Krakow and Poznan, and they already have such high autonomy. It's currently not useful to do that. Our trace with Anhalt has ended. Your rivals with the Ottomans and Castile. Who are my current rivals anyway? I keep forgetting. Poland and Venice. Poland is really good, because we're still going to punish them a lot. Venice is still... I'm surprised Venice is still allowed to be our rival, despite everything. It's strange that I cannot rival Castile, though. And they have rivaled England, which means they don't act necessarily like me that much. Um, so discontent. Requires higher diplotex. Support rebels. So we need 60 to do this. Would be fun to do that, actually. Get some... Uh, Actually, I wonder how, if the Dutch have yet revolted or not. It doesn't appear to be the case. If the Dutch revolt, I'm very interested in helping them out. 74,000 versus 52,000. Muscovy has a similar amount. Muscovy is on the same tech level as Austria. England is ahead of Austria. I'm ahead of Austria. Which is useful. Platinet was doing things. I believe I'm currently just recovering manpower, which will actually get us less unrest and increased taxes for a while. So we need 90% of 56,000. That is reachable within months right now. Denmark declared war upon Scotland. A war of conquest. Very interesting. Very strange, but also very interesting. Wow, we almost have all the temples. Hessen doesn't have a temple, but also doesn't have room. Hmm. Where's our gold mine? 10 in Atman. Not bad at all. Our prestige has been going up. I would really like to have way more prestige, though. 
Oh, that is impacting the relations over time. Of course it is. Yeah, the fastest way to get prestige is when... Seriously. Saxony is a part of Austria. Okay, then. Okay, let's recall from Austria. We have our mission complete. Recover the abysmal prestige. It gets us a free... Hmm. Let's um, do that. It gets us free stability once we actually fix that. Move power projection a little bit. Establish cadet branches, which is, I believe, somewhere here. No? Where is that one? Oh, it's influence, actually. Early prestige. Okay. Finishes up with discipline as well. Yeah, I'd like that. Really, a lot. 102% discipline. Our current combat ability on infantry is 20%, and that's going to be 40% once we finish that. And, of course, I will add that specific policy in this one. This is the one we want. Guerrilla warfare would actually be helpful in fighting enemies that invade us. Aggressive expansion impact? Hello. In the religious they claim Breslau in Poland. Who are your allies? Just Magdeburg and the Union over... Seriously, Muscovy is in... But they wouldn't join. Oh, because of truce. How, why is Muscovy doing that? They are rivals with Poland, yet they have guaranteed their independence. That makes zero sense. Zero. Favors is slowly going on every two years, seriously. That's every one year with uh, England. So let's see. Um, yeah, I'm saving up the points for the tech first. Because that tech is really strong on fire on infantry. And better cavalry too. Austria is now on 13 though. Improve the capital. Um, gain base tax. Yes, I will use the military in this case. Because I'm saving up to repay a loan. 16, 10, 10. So it's a pretty good capital. I mean, Vienna has only 31 development. It does have more manpower. Like, a lot more. Ottomans and Muscovy have more army. The thing is, um, Austria has way more cannons than we do. Way more. So once we have our loan repaid, we're probably going to look at expanding our army towards more guns. More artillery. Because let's face it, six artillery is not enough. Not anymore, it is. It's diplomatic available. I'm still gonna wait until that's gone down to 0%, though. The Osage. That's a Native American tribe. Interesting that I get to know that. And let's repair our last loan. We've been discovered in Austria. Did covert actions. That does take 10 years to go away. Uh, in that case, I am going to at least... Oh, no, I'm at least going to claim... Linz and Tyrol. Aggressive mm -hmm. expansion is down to 37, though. It's going to take a long time to recover. What I think I will have to actually do is, once this truce is up in 71, we'll have to go into Poland to fight a war. Muscovy will not join on their side because they are rivals, but the guarantee independence is weird. The thing is, to get my prestige up the fastest, we would need to humiliate them. Hang on, I could... Who are Venice's allies? Croatia, the Knights in Mantua. 
Venice has 27,000 troops. Mantua. 21,000. And then there's Croatia and the Knights, which are probably non-entities. We do have military access through Austria for some reason. So, humiliate them. Brandenburg, why would Nuremberg join in? Trade League. That would actually be in a hilariously good war to fight. And that would help us improve our prestige. But for now, it is time to end the episode. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. There's also a link in the description to Briar's channel. So make sure to go there. If you want to check what he's been up to the past week on this game. But until then, I will uh, see you guys later.